Welcome to the lights and times of a DC soft syrup. Five years later, episode one. Sitting at the bar by himself, Nick Johnson of Club Salsa was reflecting on memories and thought to himself, it was just five years ago when he found out his lady, Helena, was having an affair with his arch rival, Juan Carlos, owner of Club Whatever. He was thinking the DC salsa scene has changed dramatically in five years. The competition has increased immensely. His arch rival, Juan Carlos, owner of Club Whatever, has just renovated his club and it's scorching hot right now. More or two dancers have come on the scene and Leo Brigito with his bachata addict Crazo and May Bachata, a major factor on the DC Latin dancing. Mr. Mambo's is hot, Lucky Strikes is hot, and to make matters worse, Gogo Earl and the Salsa Room are back working together again. Nick Johnson had problems, and he was going to have to do something that just catered to the all one crowd. The only thing saving him right now was the DC Salsa Meetup. Juan Carlos and Helena were making plans to add a bachata night to club whatever schedule. With new renovations, the club is hot and they wanted to strike while the irons are hot. They were planning to start a live music night as well. Everything was going well for them except petty ass Gogo Earl was no longer giving them free advertising to them on the Stuck on Salsa website because they did not attend his birthday party at Lucky Strike. He and Earl were pretty good friends and he knew eventually Earl would forgive him, but for now he had to pay for the advertising. Gogo Earl told Kelvin they need to make up to Philly Boy on Tuesday's new spot up in Philly on Sunday nights. He also had informed Kelvin Harris that Juan Carlos was on his shit list because he did not come to Lucky Strike for his birthday. And Kelvin just shook his head and laughed. Friends with Earl for over 25 years, no one knew how funny Gogo Earl was about things like that. Gogo Earl was hoping that Darling Garcia or his brother Uriel and Vera Rowe, all who are going to be a part of the Resolution Jam weekend in 2013, placed in the World Latin Dance Cup so he could use that to help promotions for the Resolution Jam workshops and party. Gogo Earl was always looking for a promotional edge. Lee Aguiquito, the bachata addict, just finished working out a deal to have a bachata New Year's Eve in association with Wendell Robinson of Salsa Metro at the Hilton in Rockville. All Lee ever thinks about is his lady, La Gata, and bachata. Will Nick Johnson step up his game, or will Club Salsa for all what dances fold? Will Juan Carlos and Helena stay together, or will Helena cheat on him like she did Nick Johnson? Will Gogo Earl keep making Juan Carlos pay for advertising? Hello. Hello. Will Lee El Piquito Hello. ever get over his bachata addiction? Stay tuned for the next episode of the Life of Times of a DC. So, Sarah. <laughs>